Hi, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a crystal report using groups, formula fields, uh, and soup reports, and other stuff. So stay tuned. Hi, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, the second video of my video tutorial on crystal reports. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a crystal report also using uh, groups, uh, sub reports, and formula fields. So stay tuned. So the first thing that we need to do is open crystal report. The version that I'm using right now is the current one. So right now is the version six, 2016. So we are going to click uh, to create a blank report. Here, there are my current connection for my database, but let, let us create a new one. So the, uh, the connection I'm using right now is a SQL, well, the database that I'm using is a SQL database. So I'm going to hit OLED DB and here, I have my different um, drivers. So it's a SQL server. So let us put the, the name of the server. You can put also your IP address, your username, and your password. And here, uh, there is a, the, all the database that I can select. So I, pl uh, I press finish, and now it's connected to the MySQL server. So here I'm going to select which table that I want to work. So uh, here I'm going to use a simple uh, um, uh, sample uh, uh, data, a simple table that I have with the information and press OK. Remember that every table that you add to your uh, crystal report it needs to be linked with your primary key. So any information that has your primary uh, key, like if you have a customer, you know that you are going to have a, a customer table. And if you have an invoice table, the invoice table needs to reference to the customer. So you need to, when you're adding the tables inside the crystal report, you need to join those two tables using the primary key. So the primary key probably is the ID of your customer. So right now, let us create like the header. And this is similar uh, as a Word document. You have your division, like your page header, your uh, well, the report header, the page header, the detail, and the report footer, and the page uh, footer. So in this scenario, I'm going to put my title of the report. So right now, uh, I'm going to put the information that I want in this scenario, I want to have the my ID, well, the case of the customer that I have, and I'm going to put the the name of my customer. But in this scenario, I don't have it in this table. So here I'm going to put all that information, like last letter that we sent to this customer. So right now, if I put, if I run this report as it is, if I do a preview, that is the page, the pre print preview, is going to collect every case that I have in my database. So it will take a long time. So let us create a parameter field so that way I can restrict the information. So 
So right now, this parameter, this case number field, is a, a string value. If you see, if I highlight the field, it's a string. That means that it's a text value. So that is the reason that when I did right click and create the parameters, uh, it's a string. So that way, when I go to the uh, select expert, when I mark that field, if I click select an expert, right now here I can have different options. So right now I can put is equal to, and I can search the parameter field because it's a string value. So one thing is that the select expert is the 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 section of crystal report that you can limit your uh, report. So that way it will not be, uh, it will not, uh, it will uh, search the correct information. Right now I can put manually the the, the case number, but uh, I decided to create a parameter so that way every time that I run, it will ask me, hey, what is the case number? So now if I do the preview, it will ask me, hey, wh where is the case number? I put the uh, a demo case that I have. I press OK, and it will select it. It will search that case number. So, so right now I have this basic information. So. Now we uh, are going to create a formula field. So formula fields is you can you can modify the way that the data is displayed. Like for example, right now the data type ID is number three. So I can create a formula that says I can create if statements. I can create if statements that if I can choose the 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 value the the field if data type is equal to number three then is good else bad And I can save it. I can check the code, but it's okay. I can create different codes here, but as uh, as regular coding, you can also, if you want to create a separate code in the same formula field, you can end it to like with the dot and comma and save it. So right now, if I use, I can replace the data type with that formula and will transform this number three to, to this wording. This is very helpful in the scenario that sometimes like like um let me show you like some sometimes the database has a default value like for example this one it has a default value as one one nine hundred so this is mean for this database that this is blank so I can create a formula field that if this equals to this it will be a blank so that way it will be better looking report than rather than have this default date. So that is one of the options that you can create a formula field. So right now um, I can create, um, imagine that I have uh, a lot of cases. Let us put, let, let, let me remove, um, let me remove the parameter field so that way I can have a lot of cases. So let us see, is greater, is greater than, than the parameter field that I did create. Oh, well, it's less, let us do less. is less or equal. So 
so now I'm going to have a lot of information so right now I have a uh, 99,000 something so right now I can I can divide let us uh, I can create a group so that way I can uh, group the ones that has different dates so let us create a group like if I want to divide whatever last letter is in August um, I can create a, a, a divided by month so let us create a group here insert group I already marked I, I did select the date so I create a insert a group and now as he already know that it, this field is a is a date so I can create a group each day each month or each year depends on what you want so let's create a year because there is a lot of information so right now I have everything that is one nine nine hundred divided here and if I see can select everything is going to be selected by the year so now I have the group now I can create a like a summary of, of that group so let's do count by the group so he will count how many records are in that year so you create that so that summary it will end in each group so because I have a lot of records I will hide the detail of that record let us hide so that way I can see only the group so right now I have that I have this amount for this year this for this year and that is the group and also the accounting part of the uh, uh, accounting of a crystal report so that is one thing so imagine yourself that you have a, a case you have your main record you want to have all the detail of that record and inside that report you want to have a detail of each transaction imagine like every check every letter in every section that are separate of your main database so what you're going to do is you can create a new detail if you that detail section you can write out you can click write and insert a, a section below so now you're going to have section A and B so in that section let, let us um, remove the hide in that section you can create a, a sub report you can hear this is the sub report so that means that you're going to create the same thing that you, we created but uh, a new report that will link to that case and that detail you're going to insert it in that it's going to be like two two report but one of the reports is going to be the main and the second one is going to be pasted inside the other one so it's like two reports running in one so here you do the same thing you're going to create or if you already have that same report separately you can join it and here you mark the data and the only thing is that you're going to link it using your primary key and that's it so if you have any question like uh regarding this content of this video you can hit me at my social media or comment to do this video um, like I was telling you on the first video of this um, series this is going to be uh, several videos regarding this uh, crystal report and hit me to the comment if you want me to explore a little bit more deeper and um, I'm trying to um, be a little bit deep um, um, I don't want to to be like long videos or so if I miss something that you want to uh, learn let, hit me in the comment section so that way I can create a new video regarding that section so thank you and also subscribe if you like the content of this channel please subscribe and also 
hit the like icon. Remember, if you have any question regarding the content of this video, please comment and or hit me in my social media. So thank you.